Hey guys, it's Mel from The 441 Feng Shui and in today's video I'm going to talk about my 25 before 2025. This year I feel like I'm really late to filming this. Um, normally I started earlier but the last kind of five, six weeks have been, and even before that, have been a bit full on. But we still have, I think it was 57 days to Christmas this morning. So we've got just over 60 days before 2025. And I want to smash it. And um, if anyone out there wants to smash it too, maybe you guys would like to try the 25 before 2025 list. So I've done this last year as well. You're welcome to have a look on my YouTube. Sorry, my puppy is trying to get comfortable here beside me. Little hairy dog, you want to say hi? You want to say hi? No? Um, yeah, so you guys might have seen this from me last year, but I originally heard about it from Laura from How To Get Your Shit Together. There was an original creator. I don't think many people are doing it anymore, but this is my take on it. Um, so I've got my list in amongst all my notes for today. Um, so number one is fixed glass. There is a panel of glass in our living room window that got broken, I'm going to say two months ago, when we were taking down um, the veranda in our backyard and it kind of got put in the long finger. Funnily enough, just writing that down at like 10 o'clock last night, I called them this morning, so it's getting fixed today. So I got a quick win. That will be crossed off and done by end of today. Number two, sourdough. So that was on my list for this year. It was one of my big intentions. I am successfully making it, um, but I wanna make one a week, if I can, of just like a sourdough loaf. Sorry, my mom has decided to go vacuuming. Um, she's here, which is a huge help for the next few weeks, um, which is why I think some of the stuff on here is so ambitious because we have that extra support. I'm pretty confident we can smash it. Um, so number three is to host one more Feng Shui workshop. I'm going to do one on bedroom Feng Shui. I've called it Zen Den and I've actually booked that in to host that on the 17th of November. Um, number three is to write an email sequence so that when somebody signs up to my website um, to get on my email list there's a bit of a sequence. I need to include a freebie on that. So I've actually started that so it's about 50% done. Um, number three is, or sorry, number five is Courtine Steel. So we are renovating our backyard. Um, I've been filming along bits and pieces. I still need to edit it into a bit of a vlog and get it up, which is further down on the list. But the, one of the next stages is Courtine Steel. So there is five or six things on this list that are all for the backyard, but it's such a big project that it needs to be broken down to baby steps. So I've gotten the quote for that. I need to sign it, return it and pay for it after I film this video and um, then we can go and pick that up and I don't know, maybe we could even be installing that this weekend. Um, six and seven are the retic and the grass for that section of the garden. I don't think realistically we will be able to get the full garden bed done or the full backyard done before 2025 um but if i can get the steel if we can get the steel done the grass in and the retic down that's one section in, finished in itself um number eight is paint the outside of the house my mum is here and she is keen to help me in any way she can so we're looking at painting our beige brick veneer house to kind of more of a black and black trim and white uh, brick um, house so it'll look kind of like a modern farmhouse thingy 
Sorry guys, I had to run over to the office to um, help somebody for a quick minute. So back to the list. Um, I was talking about the outside of the house. So that will be a huge thing if she can do that for us. Um, number nine is to start back at laser. Um, I used to get my underarms and stuff lasered, but I'm also thinking about getting my whole leg done and just getting it all done in one hit. So if they have a good sale at Black Friday, I will buy, say, like a tree session. Blah, blah. I will buy like a tree session package, and um, at least that'll be my next tree sessions a laser because I want to do my legs as well. Um, Exercise four mornings a week. So I've been looking into dopamine and dopamine hacking and I'm your typical ADHD snacker but recently I've learned that that's dopamine seeking so I'm wondering if I can do some working out in the morning even if it's just yoga, a walk, can be weights, just something to see if that will make a difference with um how I go throughout my day. So it's less about actually weight loss and more about mindset and what it does to my mind. Um, I have a bookshelf over there that I have already decluttered because I want to do a lot with this office. I want to try and make this office work for me um, now that we've decided to stay in this house long term. So um, I've decluttered a lot of books. There is more books I want to get rid of and I've put down to read two. I would have more. However, I am reading the Seven Sisters series and I know I'm going to be obsessed with those. So two books from there that I can declutter. I also want to read, it's further down on the list, but um, Sanaya Roman, Creating Money. Um, oh, and I've got declutter shelves. So yeah, declutter some of the office shelves as well. Um, and then read Creating Money by Sanaya Roman. Um, book appointment with a specialist. So I have um, to go see a specialist and I have to go back to the GP to chat about which specialist would be the right one for me. So I have an appointment mid-November and I want to at least make the phone call and book in with them. I have rang one, but I'd like to speak to the GP before I book it. And as it is, they're already nearly booked out for December. So I don't think I will get in with them if we both choose to go to that one. Um, but by making the phone call now, at least it started the process for next year if I decide to go with that person. Um, Oshin needs to have his tonsils out. So there is some date still in December. So I would like to get that operation done. Um, I can potentially get it done on his last day of school. So that's going to minimize his time away from school. Um, however, I'm waiting on that operation because I need to see what's happening with Tom's back and his operation. Um, I have here number 16 to edit all the videos that I've already filmed because I am notoriously bad at editing. Like I'm probably going to take this off edit it and get it up today otherwise it will sit there forgotten about um, and I want to plan my content for the next quarter so some of those pre-filmed videos will potentially go into that pre-planned um, content for January to March because I like to work in quarters. Um, number 18, number 18 and number 19 they're kind of going to be a push. I don't know if we'll get those done before Christmas, but it's now the second half of the garden bed and it is to put in river stone. Um, so we want to transition from the grass and then the courteen wall, courteen steel retaining wall with a step down into kind of um, a river stone, which is a soft, smooth stone that you can walk on barefoot. Um, so to lay the courteen steel, um, to lay the river stone and then the next one, number 19, is to put in the garden beds. I'm just talking about putting in, I'm not even talking about filling the garden beds yet. Although now that I think about it, we should probably do that before we put in the courtine steel so we're not making a mess. Um, 
Hang Doors is number 20. So right behind me here, I've got three doors and I've got three handles. Uh, um, we need to update some of the doors in the house. They're still the original doors and they're just they're like splitting and there's a hole in a couple of them. So materials are here. Just got to find the time to do it. Um, number 21 is to go away for a long weekend with our family. So my mum is here at the moment and then my other in-laws, my uh, mother-in-law and father-in-law are coming out for Christmas, but there's a slight overlap when they're all here together. And we said we'd try and go away for three or four days. So that's why that one's there. Um, 22 is to go away with Tom. So with all this family here, can I, myself and Tom, potentially go away for a night? Um, it's not huge on the priority list. I know it should be, but we've been really lucky this year with um, alone time and friends taking kids and they're getting older now, so they want play dates and all of that. So it's not a deal breaker if we don't have it happen because we've got more opportunities for that to happen and maybe we'd rather spend that money in the backyard. But, you know, I've been put in. Um, 23 is change the layout of the office. So, not so much the layout. I'm just more thinking, should I put in cabinetry? Um, I'm just going to change that to plan only. Because <coughs> this could end up being a whole new design for the office. I just find that with this space, I'm trying to do too much in here for the space that I have. And either I need to get real with myself and do a proper declutter or find a better way to store everything. Um, because a lot of what I have in here, I use, but there's a lot of things in this small room for a lot of different projects. So we've got, you know, the main business, we've got my little feng shui, business that I'm starting we've got all my personal stuff because um this is where I come you know my bedroom is not huge so like all my tarot cards are here and um, all my crafty stuff and all my crystals and all the cookbooks and the gardening books and the business books and so there's a lot in this small space um, and it's also the dumping ground for home projects as well hence why the three doors are here so yeah is there a way that I can lay it out better to improve functionality um, and it's another hard one because you've got a window there, you've got a door there and you've got like a built-in cupboard there so it limits you and it's not that wide of a room to just like have a desk in the middle of the room. I believe at the moment because I've got two desks this is like my creative desk and this is my work desk so this is a good balance because I can just swivel my chair around between both um, but yeah if there's a better way I can do it and maybe it is that I put in a bench with storage style I don't know um, but it's it's only planning I'm not gonna it'd be too much to try and do this room as well um, Delete FB and Google Shop and change wording on Facebook. So that's for Sweeney Hire. We're not hiring as much lately, so I have to go in and delete the stuff that we've sold. That's something I can do this week. Um, tidy up content for editing off laptops. So yeah, my laptop is getting overloaded with videos and stuff. Um, so I want to start moving that over to an external hard drive, but also like having a system. So creating a system of folders where I can easily find content um, for this channel as it grows and that it's nice and neatly organized. So that is my 25 for 2025. Um, different list to what I normally do sometimes I kind of have you know drink more water try and cook more from scratch but this time as you can tell the backyard and the house has a huge focus um we've got some health stuff there that has a focus and um some business stuff for both businesses that has a focus so that's kind of what I am trying to get through over the next 
roughly 60 days. So that is my 25 before 2025 list for this year. Um, I love this list because it really makes me focus on what it is I want to leave behind in 2024 or what it is I would like to make a jump start on for 2025 so it's not as overwhelming in 2025 and there's a good chance I'm not going to get 100% of the list done however I'll probably get 70 to 80 percent of the list done and as I like to say aim for the moon and land on a star so by doing the list it um, helps me to achieve those dreams and also sometimes by doing the list you could have something on that list if you are not very clear about your list or it's your first couple of times doing it you could have something on that list that you realize halfway through this challenge that actually that's not that important right now and I would rather do XYZ or I would double down and instead of doing 25 things I'm going to do five things. Um, so let me know what you think, let me know if you're following along. I am going to check in again in a month. If people would like I could do a tips and tricks video on helping you achieve some of these goals uh, or achieve a successful 25 before 2025 list. Um, yeah, so I will catch you in part two around the end of November. Cheers!